Hi friends. Last time in health, we talked about babies growing and what they started to eat as they were little and that they couldn't uh, eat hard foods because they didn't have teeth, right? But as you grew up, you started to have teeth and you could eat uh, lots more food, right? And you could eat healthy foods to help your body grow up big and strong so that you could do lots of things, right? Like climb a mountain. Well, today we're gonna to talk about family and family is important. And um, we need our families, don't we? We need our families when we're really little to feed us and protect us and love us. And a lot of us have mothers and fathers, but our families can look different. Some of us have aunts and uncles that are part of our family and live with us every day. Some of us have grandparents that live with us. Some of us don't have moms and dads and we live with our grandparents or our aunts and uncles, or we live with other people that are not our real moms and dads, but they're taking care of us for our life while we're little and they feed us and they protect us and they love us. And that's our family too. Our families are different, but they still love us and they still protect us. And that's okay. They can be different, but they do the same thing, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, sometimes our moms and dads are there and they love us and they feed us and they protect us, but they live in different houses, right? Yeah, some of us have that situation and that's okay too, right? It's just a little different. <clears throat> the people that love us and feed us, protect us and teach us things, <clears throat> They teach us how to talk and how to get dressed and how to keep clean, right? They teach us how to make good decisions and how to be a good person. And they teach you, whoops, sorry, friends, teach us how, teach you many more things than animals teach their young. Yeah. Remember the baby animals, they can do so many things when they're first born, like fish, they can just automatically swim right away. And goats, when they're little, right after they're born, they can just go climb that mountain. But taking care of children is a very important job. And it is a big responsibility. Oh, friends, we've talked about that word before, haven't we? Yeah. Responsibility. Good. Here's a grown-up. He's taking care of this little guy. Right? And he says, what does he say? He says, let me show you how to tie your shoe. Well, he doesn't know how to tie his shoe. Well, that is very caring. Yeah, we got to teach him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see what's down here at the end. Taking care of babies. Babies need help with a lot of things. What are some of the things that parents must do for their babies? You can write them down. We'll do that as our activity after the video is finished, but we can be thinking about that. The grown-ups in our lives that protect us and take care of us and love us, we can think about what they do for us. Like at school too, what do your teachers do for you, right? How do they help you and, and uh, the things that they teach you, they protect you and, and they teach you, right? So there's a lot of people in your life that take care of you and protect you and teach you. But your parents are the very first ones, the very, very first ones that start that job when you're very first born and they feed you first and they love you first and they protect you first and they're always there, right? When you're a little tiny baby. Yeah. All right. So now you can go and do the activity below and I'll see you next time. Thanks friends.